Okay, picking back up on number two with slope intercept form applications. So, number two, an online photo printing shop charges 15 cents per print in addition to a 295 shipping charge. Write an equation to model the total cost, so that's gonna be the same as number one, for printing pictures and identify our variables. So we're gonna let X be the number of prints <clears throat> or the number of pictures, and Y is gonna be our total cost again. So that's gonna be the same, so that's gonna be our dependent variable. So cost is our dependent variable. And then for our X, which is our independent, is gonna be the number of prints. So what is our rate of change? What is our M or our slope? What is changing at a rate? It's gonna be the number of prints because it's 15 cents per print. And our initial value, the flat fee for shipping, is $2.95. So now we have to take those values and put them into our equation format. We still don't know what Y is because that's the total cost. Our M is 15 cents. X, we don't know, plus our initial value, 295. Okay, so there's number one and number two. Go ahead and try number three and number four on your own. So pause the video, check back in if you need some prompting, or try it and check back in at the end. So there's three and four in the entirety of page 22. Again, we're just identifying the information and then plugging it in to our 
equation format in slope intercept form. Okay, we're gonna continue on the next page. So once you have all that down, go ahead and flip to page 23. And we have some more applications, more word problems. So the difference here is that we are going to be solving. On page 22, we were just setting up the equations and here we are gonna solve for either X or Y. So we will pick back up there in the next video.